Welcome to the ABCs of Home Improvement on WRCR. This is your weekly radio encyclopedia for all your home improvement projects. Featuring Laborio Dorario, your friendly neighborhood architect, Mike Ash, Bill Barsho, and the cool tool girl, Elizabeth Bushy. They're ready to take your calls and answer questions about your home improvement projects. Call now, 845-362-0013. Good morning, Rockland County and the world behind it. How are we doing this morning on this lovely, sunny, 50-degree weather? Welcome to the ABCs of Home Improvement. We're looking forward to phone calls at 845-362-0013 regarding any of your remodeling projects. Good morning. Hey, Lee. Mike, good morning. Welcome, everybody out there in ABC of Home Improvement land. We're here at the... uh, the 1700 AM Ramapo scripted 10 billion zillion gigawatts of power blasting off around the world and out into outer space. And now that new planet that they found, like Jupiter, this, this kid found it over there near the side of the bridge. It's unbelievable what you can do when you have the mind and the, and the, the wherewithal to sit in there and uh, decode all of that information. Think right? a little bit outside the box. It's unbelievable. So uh, it's our 10th show here in our third season. Yeah. Uh, we have a lot of great giveaways here from the Magic Hat today. We have all kinds of things, but we want to throw a shout out to our sponsors and Torn Valley Vineyards as usual. Uh, gosh, what a great weekend to go up there. Once again, Mike, we have no rain. We are batting 100% here. So the way it's supposed uh, to be. Weather's the gorgeous, and information's and good. What else you want to talk about? Well, we have uh, the Torn Valley Vineyards up there is open every Saturday and Sunday from 11 to 5.30 p.m. Uh, for great wine tastings. You can go up there, listen to some live music, and have some great food at their cafe, award-winning cafe. It opens Saturdays and uh, Sundays through the winter. Uh, they have live music there that's fantastic. It's Rockland's only working vineyard uh, where the Old World Charm Vineyard uh, is nestled into the Torn Valley in the Torn Brook there. What a great place so it really is. It is, and uh, we like to say where great wine and great food and live music meet great people. So get up there, uh, get a wine tasting. And also today, if you have an opportunity and you're listening, you want to get a free wine tasting, we're doubling down today. We're giving away two wine tastings. So if you call between now and 1130, we'll give you a wine tasting for All two. All you got to say is we. I love the ABCs. <laughs> that's right. I love the ABCs of Home Improvement. Uh, First person to call in at 845-362-0013. Uh, we'll have an opportunity at that. And once we give that away, it's closed out till 1130. What a great weekend ago. Yeah, beautiful. And uh, Jets Giants, Mike. Jets I know. Giants. I'm there. So believe Unbelievable. Me. And Billy, you'd be, uh, I hope you're listening out there. Billy B is not in the studio today. He's... Uh, He's actually uh, put together a company that does Christmas lighting in the off seasons. The, so when construction gets a little slow, he's down in Rumson today. Uh, and besides putting up the lights, he's having a problem with one of his clients, one of these ladies' garage doors, trying to get the garage door open. She didn't give him the code. So, Billy, I hope you're out there <laughs> cracking the code down in Rumson on that garage door. Um, everybody else, listen, I have Hanukkah coming up Sunday, Mike, Sunday right? Night. I got my crew coming in Friday night, believe mm-hmm. me. So the holidays are here. December is holiday time. So let's go out in the uh, last few weeks of the year and get some things done around the house, Mike. Uh, well, maybe it's time to get your Hanukkah, Christmas, or Kwanzaa decorations out and prepare your home for the holidays. I so. took the bags out this week already, getting ready for everything. Nice. Uh, some people, do, do you know what Kwanzaa is, Mike? A lot of people had that question about Kwanzaa. Do it's not my holiday. So Kwanzaa is... is it's uh, similar to it, but not... Well, Here's what they have. In 2015, this is the 49th annual Kwanzaa, Mike, the African-American holiday celebrated. Yeah, usually, uh, they say December 26th to January 1st, and it's estimated that there's some 18 million American, African-Americans that take part in that holiday. But it's not as good as the eight days we have for Hanukkah, though. No, or Christmas, the 12 days of Christmas. <laughs> it, so, uh, But there, this is not even a religious holiday, though, Mike. This is uh, Right. It was created by Dr. Uh, Karanga, a professor of black studies in 1966. Okay. And at that time, there's, of course, big social change in the African-American uh, community with what's going on with the civil rights and so forth. Sure. Uh, so it inspired Americans who were working for this progress. So Kwanzaa is based on the year-end harvest festival that takes place throughout Africa for thousands of years. And the name, Mike, came from the Swahili phrase, Matunda Ya Kwanzaa, which means fruits, uh, the first fruits of the, fu- the harvest, Mike. There you go. So, uh, so there you go. He used the Swahili language because uh, it, it's, u- it's the most used language in the various parts of Africa. So a little history on Kwanzaa Very good. for the holiday folks out there that may not have known that. Uh, but December, Mike, okay, we have, our, of course, we have three weeks left, so we want to prepare for winter now, Mike. I know. We're not I- it's hard to believe it's coming, with that 50-degree <laughs> weather, I'm telling you. So, so what kind of project can we give the folks out there to do for, you know, the first yeah. one? I would get the rest 
rest of the house cleaned up before the oh, party Oh, clean. Starts. Okay, so the first thing you do is clean out your closets, Mike. Yeah. We're going to give you a chore here before, you know, the, the, the holidays start on Sunday. You have, still have, you know, to make room in the closets for the new stuff, you know? That's right. Well, listen, winter time is a perfect time to clean out your closets and other storage spaces, Mike, you mm-hmm. know? Uh, so this way you can donate some clothes this time of the year, get your end-of-year tax deductions in line. Uh, and there's some tips for successful decluttering that we want to give out. I'm, when I leave here, I'm going over to the uh, dog area with a high tour. Oh, yeah. I got a big bag of 20-pound dog food for them. Oh, look at that. There's another. That's a great one for you folks out there looking for something to do, a little uh, donation over that's to high tour, right? Yeah, I already gave out my turkey this year. Nice. Yeah. Well, we say to on these things for cleaning out your closets, Mike, we want to work at one closet at a time so it's not overwhelming because you, be, you know people look at how that. people store things like that out of sight out of mind you right know? so you divide things up into different categories there's four categories we like to say four the keep the donate like you're saying the yep. recycle and the toss mike the toss. the toss should be the biggest pile right uh keep the clothing that only fits if you haven't worn it in more than a year get rid of, get it. Rid of it styles are changing move up and and if you have something that's timeless Put it on the side. Yeah, put it on the side, and that could be something that you might want to keep. Uh, And those are the types of things. Anything that you have that's worthwhile, get rid of it, get it out of your house if it's something that you you, you don't use anymore. Now, we we heard earlier today that the... um, the supervisor was talking about the Christmas tree and the Christmas tree lighting. So I wanted to also tell you folks out there, if you're going out to put your Christmas lights on, use energy-efficient Christmas lights, okay? And discover why switching to LED Christmas lights during the holiday season saves energy and money and is great for the environment, it's Mike. perfect right now. So uh, for many of us, Christmas trees and Christmas lights, stay, and even mantle lights and garden lights, stay on 8 to 10 hours a day or in the evening. Some people leave them on around the clock. And this contributes to why uh, energy budgets go up in the wintertime. Besides the heating, uh, you're consuming much more energy to keep your Christmas lights on if they're not energy efficient. So we here at the ABC's uh, Home uh, Home Improvement say to switch to LED tree lights as well as uh, building lights and bulbs around your house. It'll so, pay for it in a couple of years for sure. Absolutely. And and this is a great way to save yourself, you know, 10 to 12 hours a day, 12 days of Christmas. You produce enough carbon dioxide, uh, greenhouse gases, to inflate 64 party balloons, Mike. Wow. Just so Big people balloon. get an idea how much uh, carbon monoxide is being created by the energy that needs to be produced for these high wattage, uh, less efficient bulbs. So the LED lights is a, is a great way to save some energy. And while you're doing it, pick up one or two other LED bulbs the house. and switch them out. So every every so often, you know, it's a when a bulb goes yourself, out, that's all it is. That's right. That's right. So those are the energy facts that we have there. We also told you, if you forgot, get your shovels, snow blowers serviced, get your sand and ice in place. Get ready. You know, it doesn't look like it out there, but, you know, just like with uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed uh, Reindeer, when it hits, it hits, and I it's a big went, one. I heard he went LED this time <laughs> on his nose. He's got a red LED there. There you go. And also clean out your chimneys and get your heating system flues and so forth check uh pete from pete's uh, chimney and gutter company also don't forget your dryers that's it dryer vents he's given discounts say the abc's a home improvement if you love right? it tell them right away it's great so uh again give us a call 845-362-0013 with any of your questions uh we did receive over 3,210 likes on our site with over 700 views last week thanks nice. joe Joe is, jo- Joe is our expert over here. He's doing a great job with our PR work, uh, moving our Facebook stuff around. So uh, great job, Joe. And we received 27 emails last week with questions about projects to review. Um, out of that, Mike, this week I went on five appointments for Good. five new projects. Nice. So, uh, and two, uh, three of them in Rockland. Uh, one of them is a 10,000-square-foot shul over in Chestnut Ridge, which mm-hmm. we're uh, working on. The second one is an in-laws apartment in Orangetown, nice. which was uh, basically 2,600 square feet added to the side of a colonial. Uh, the folks, uh, the in-laws are getting a little Mother older. Daughter. Yeah, they want it on one level, so uh, accessible from on grade. So it's a little ramp that goes in. And when I say a little ramp, I mean it's only four feet because it's about two inches to get into the unit. Uh, And we're going through uh, the zoning information because some of these need special zoning requirements to do. Okay. Uh, So that's another one. We have a bagel store that's going in in Aramont. John's Bagels. Yeah, well, he's not up and running yet. That's the problem. Down in Bergen County, we have uh, a gentleman that gave me a call from Weehawken, and uh, he's designing a four story, four unit apartment building uh, where he has the uh, two units will be on the main floor one unit on the third floor uh, and then on the fourth floor is going to be his owner occupied unit so we're starting to work out the designs for that and we also had a two bedroom two bath 
uh, two walk-in closet dual master suite edition off the top over a garage in Ramsey. Nice. So uh, that came from Nick Pappas. He's a he's one of the folks that listens in to our show. Uh, he's a builder, and uh, Nick, thank you for that. Appreciate those. So uh, our listeners are responding very well to our program, Mike, and we're happy to provide our specialized information on home improvement for everyone out there at absolutely no charge. Free information. Where That's do you get that these starts, days? Really. Right, so uh, we like to educate the homeowner, and we keep them educated because an educated consumer is a happy, happy consumer. So everyone knows what's going on but out people there. People must realize consulting should be done, and it's usually a free offer by most of us in the trade. It's a way of getting things started so you have an idea what you're really doing and what's going to cost you. Absolutely. So we want to thank you out there again. Uh, hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving uh, weekend with their families. My brother was in from Palm Beach. He's actually flying out today. I hope he's listening to the show. We had an outstanding time with everybody around the table. Uh, my in-laws were there, and uh, his uh, future uh, uh, wife's in-laws are going to be there. So we, uh, we had about 21 people around the table. Very nice. Uh, great time. I hope everybody enjoyed their families. Now we're coming into the next phase of family now season. Right? That's all it so is. So that's it. So uh, thanks for calling on our experts and trusting us to, to give you the services that are so special to our hearts and, and your family and friends that you're referring us every week. Thank you very much. Joe, you have anything you want to say over there? Uh, you know, we always bring you in for a show. We're coming up We're coming up here. You want to take Billy's seat and, and join in uh, but in front of the camera so people can see it? Oh, he's eating something there. We're going to get him, we're gonna get him in. Listen, I want to say these, are, these new headphones are outstanding. Look at the they're breakaway headphones or something. I mean, we have great headphones here, brand new, and the earpiece came off, so I don't know what to say. Carry. I'm going to have to use the other side here. Okay. Um, so fantastic. We, uh, Billy, the new headphones are here. I just uh, I want to make sure you know that. I just broke mine in half for you so you can use Yeah, one. you got the other half now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our giveaways from the Magic Hat, Mike. We, we have some prizes here we want to give away. Uh, we have a digital watch. We have a Philips uh, di- a digital alarm clock with the charger. Uh, for your iPhones, iPhone 6, uh, we have our s- official screwdriver set. We have someone on the... Good afternoon, everybody out there. Thanks for calling. What's your name? What are you calling about? Am I on? Yes. You're on the air. Oh, okay. Yes, Marianne from West Nyack. I have a question. Hi, Marianne. I have a lovely home, and I have a lot of storage in the attic, and I have a sub-attic that you can walk up to and Ooh. kind of crawl in a little bit and then stand up, and a whole crawl space that you can climb up to. The only thing is... I'm bending a lot. Mm-hmm. And I said, I, and, and the garage is my family room. This is how I bought the house. Okay. So although I have storage, it's not as accessible as I'd like it. Mm-hmm. And things that belong in a garage or a basement are in the house. <laughs> so I had said, you know what my wish would be? I'd ask Santa. Of course, he'd probably tell me I'm crazy. Let's hear it. But to lower, to make the crawl space, which is maybe not all know to a full basement but enough so i don't have to bend and it's easy easier access you, you can't go totally down either because there's holding up the house oh i see okay yeah. right so, so that's a tricky situation there yeah that you have. i don't know if it's i don't even know if it's worth it like to just the money it right lower? yes well i'll tell you just from what you're explaining economically it doesn't sound like that's the most feasible solution yeah, i had a you know, even with Santa that. helping, if Santa helps, you know, maybe there's an opportunity you can save. Door yeah. going in. So, uh, yeah, I mean, depending, on, I mean, the crawl space itself, what is it, three and a half, four feet? Is that what you probably um, have? Maybe more, a little about, more? About, about. Yeah. I have to, I mean, I have a little ladder. I crawl up and it's fine. But, you know, that some of the ducks are there and, sure. yeah. you know, I, I have a little, uh, from the spackle, I have a little, uh, you know, in the bucket. So I could sit there, but it's still, it's, it's tough. You know, it's, it's a pain in the okay. neck, so. That's a difficult situation. I think yeah. the economics, uh, because it has to be done now after the house is built and there are ducks in the way and so forth, that uh, right. to move all of that Rerouting to get that space, everything. you could yeah. be spending ten or $15,000, and is it really worth that kind of money for storage no. space? Time for a shed. So <laughs> Mike says I, time I for a shed. shed. <laughs> no, we have the shed, but still, you know, you don't you want, want to run out this. Right, in the winter time, and, yeah, yeah, or in the yeah. rain. Well, yeah. I don't know. On that, I don't think we can help you on that one. But you know, listen, I'd write it down, put it in your list, and send it to Santa. And you never know; maybe somebody yeah, well, can come and the elves will come and help you out. <laughs> yeah, well, the Santa is basically a self-addressed stamped envelope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't we know that? No, we don't help we the that. kids. Yeah, we helping the kids now. You listen, know? Mary, can we interest you in a wine tasting for two at Torn Valley Vineyard so we can sort of uh, be like no. Santa? 
uh, but you can pass them to someone yeah, else. Okay. I'm, I'm, I Any of our great prizes? It. We have a beautiful screwdriver set, the official ABCs of Home Improvement screwdriver set. Um, actually, I have a prize that's probably still sitting up there. I never got up there, but... Um, <laughs> Uh, uh, she needs yeah, one of those new lights on the forehead. The screwdriver said it's always good. Is it a little ca- uh, It's a compact screwdriver set? Yeah, it's okay. Well, it's not. Ca- it's basically maybe seven inches by uh, nine oh. inches in a stand. It has a stand. It has about 18 pieces. It has small, large, and medium sized yeah. screwdrivers. And the ABCs of Home Improvement, we use it on most of our projects. Sounds and we great. Ha- okay. I, I'm a mini carpenter. My father was a carpenter. So oh, wow. There you that's, go. Yeah, that's, that's great. great. All right. All right. So, so see, Santa's you. helping you out. Stay on the line, and Carrie will take your name and information. You can sure. pick the screwdriver set up at the. Um, at the station anytime you want. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Hello? Oh, another one trying. We have someone on, Carrie? Yeah, I, give me one minute. I think I'm going to go to them. But okay, Mike, we're going to talk for a minute while we're waiting for the caller to clear yeah. the line and, and move on to the next thing. So uh, the, gr- the great giveaways from the uh, Magic Hat, but we were talking about the – we have the caller? Let's try it. Okay. Hello, caller. Welcome to the ABCs of Home Improvement. What's your name? Where are you calling from? How can we help you? That might be them calling back. I'm going to go right to them. Okay. Hello? We lost them. All right. We lost everybody. That's it. That's what happens. So we were talking about the lights outside and the Christmas lights. So, uh, Mike, our question of the week, we always like to throw out a question of the week here, some trivia for you folks during the ABC show. When and where was the first Christmas lights used, Mike? Ooh. How's that? So that's going to be the question. Give us a call, 845-362-0013, and we have uh, a special, uh, what are we going to give away today? Some, uh, we'll give away the digital clock, the Philips digital alarm clock for somebody who has an answer on that one. Uh, again, we want to give a shout-out to our good friend Tara Vallon uh, from Habitat for Humanity in Rockland. They're building a home in Havistro. I would like to let our audience know that um, they're looking for some donations, either gifts or services to complete their project. Uh, go to HabitatRockland.org. Um, she's also the inventor of the Add a Handle, uh, which is being manufactured here in Rockland. Go on to their website at AddAHandle.com uh, and find out about that. That's a good one. Uh, do we have a caller on there, Carrie? Uh, okay, uh, hello caller. What's your name? Where are you calling from? And welcome to the ABCs of Home Improvement. Hi, this is Jennifer from Mawa. Hi, Jennifer. What's going on? Well, I have a, my I renovated my kitchen 13 years ago, and I kind of did it, you know, with a laminate, not as high end as I would like. And I have some issues now where the laminate is peeling, mm-hmm. and I have a crack in the marble countertops, and I'm just oh, wondering boy. what solutions i you know and and can i get wood put on the frames of the huh. maybe um, we get, should we refer that to santa mike or what i don't know <laughs> see the delamination <laughs> happened about a little longer than that ago when the, when the glue they were using was contaminated by whatever the problems were and the only way to rectify that primarily is to uh replace because once you have that oh boy in that glue you can't do much with it you can't strip it you can't clean it well uh it happened in the kitchen business and the furniture business uh, anything that was laminate going on commercially was a problem also so it is an old and existing problem and at this point there's no remedy for it except replacing the laminate whatever it is on so doors can be replaced um, just a matter of finding out who the factory was that put it for you. Uh, otherwise, new doors can be measured and set up again one more time. What does that cost, Mike? What does that Depends run on somebody? The size, on the doors. How, Jennifer, how big is your kitchen? So it's a fairly large kitchen, and I'm just wondering, like, if can you replace the doors with, like, solid wood now? And, and what about the frames that were laminate? Like, what can you do I gotta tell to you, keep see, the basic structure up? And just Let me teach you about dollars and cents. I'm yeah. in the kitchen business over 30 years. Doors are two-thirds the price of the cabinet. Once you start talking about replacing doors, you mo- really should think about just replacing the kitchen. If you get a good layout with a new wish list that you want to produce with new appliances, if that works out for you, um, you can almost buy any type of cabinet pricing, from a semi-custom to a full custom, uh, as long as the layout works. Because the doors are the whole pricing of the uh, kitchen cabinet business. The boxes are just a production type ge- a deal, basically. Jennifer, Mike is running a 50% off special now for Hanukkah, so if you want to give him a call, Mike, throw your number out there. 914 
525-8100. I've been in the kitchen business applying directly to trades and consumers for over 30 years now. So if I can help you, please call. I'll be happy to give you a free consultation and come out over to your house. Wow. Thank you. Now, do you want a wine tasting for two, Jennifer? Do you want a Phillips alarm clock? you want a screwdriver set? I would love a wine tasting for two. Oh, that's oh, nice. nice. Okay. So, uh, I've been to the Torn Valley Vineyard, and it's wonderful. All right. So. so what you have to do is you go up to Torn Valley Vineyards. Uh, we know your name is Jennifer, and we'll give them the information. Information just tell them and tell them the ABC's a home improvement sent you. Thank you. I have one more question for Uh-oh. Mike. Oh, well, Mike. Okay, go ahead. So I'm just considering. I just wondering your opinion aesthetically of the mixing and matching of um, different uh, woods. Uh, um, Let me tell you kitchen. what's selling right now. And no matter yeah. where I am, whether I'm in Rockland or Bergen or in Connecticut, uh, the number one sell right now is a maple white painted door. In the style, what we call flat or shaker door style. Uh-huh. Uh, that's primarily the kitchen. And a lot of options that we're doing now is doing the white maple uh, on the perimeter. And we're doing the cherry or an off-colored, probably a cherry mostly on the islands. So that becomes your two-look color. Light and dark. Mike. Yeah, contrasting setup like that. And what, and about what, the do, you, what do you recommend for the floors? And oh. countertops on that kind oh. of a mix. You can either do tile, which is easy to keep clean, or you can go right into solid wood. Okay. Yeah. As far as countertops right now, they're using quartz, they're using granite, and those two are primarily what's happening at this point. What happened to the concrete stuff? Is that faded away, Mike? I don't see it that much. Right. We just did one major job recently in uh, New City, and uh, it went concrete, but it was a monster house, very big house. And uh, it's great. We did it on the island, but not the whole perimeter. So where the contrast came in, we ran the granite on the perimeter um, in a white maple, and then we did the cherry with the uh, concrete in the middle of the uh, of the island. Came out gorgeous, really did. Special house, very special house. Happens to be an architect also. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's even better, of course. Yeah, an old time, and it's been around a long time. How's that, Jennifer? I hope that's good. Put this on your list. Maybe Santa can help you out, too, you and Marianne both together. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. All Call right. me, Jen. I'll be happy to help you. Okay. Perfect. Great. All right. Bye-bye. Have a good one. We're going to go out on a quick break here. When we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about the uh, add a handle, which we didn't get to, and a couple of our uh, emails that come out of our email bag from the ABCs of Home Improvement. There's Welcome back, folks. Welcome to the ABCs of Home Improvement. We're here on a gorgeous day. Please give us a call with your questions at 845-362-0013. The lines are opened up for the next wine tasting uh, award, Mike, that we're going to give out for I Love. Did she say I Love the ABCs of Home Improvement, no, Jennifer? She missed we that. might have to pull that back. I don't know. Let's, let's see what happens. Mm. Uh, okay, so, uh, again, the out of handle. We just want to give a shout-out here. Another uh, uh, inventor that's developing things and it's being manufactured here in Rockland uh, to hold a paint can uh, while painting it also makes the job easier and faster at a handle.com go to their website check it out support your local uh, entrepreneur here in Rockland County uh, it's one of our great we don't have Elizabeth with us today she's, not, uh, feeling she's not feeling well so Billy's working on opening up the garage door Elizabeth's not feeling well so our cool tool of the week again is going to be the at a, at a handle so uh, check it out. I want people to go see that. It'll make a great gift for folks in there. It also helps you secure your paintbrush. Uh, so it w- and you know, Bill seems to think he could use that for his oversized beer cans. <laughs> so he thinks that would be a good one for when you're at a, f- at a game or something. So uh, yes, hello, welcome to the ABCs of Home Improvement, your encyclopedia of home improvement knowledge. Uh, what's your name? Where are you calling from? And how may we help my you? My name is Ralph. I'm from Congress, New York. Okay, how can we help you? I was wondering, like. My cabinets, you know, from being here so long and from cooking and stuff, they get, like, you know, like, uh, I guess, greasy on them. Yeah. Is there anything you can wash them off with that's good to use other than soap and water? Soap and water is okay, but it's not going to get oh, yeah? you really... I don't recommend. I know, right? I, I don't like get that the at all. Off, it, yeah, you, you gotta, if you're the... really going to start doing it yourself, try to get go into the stores and get a hold of a degreaser and have some yes. time trying that out first. Do one okay. door that's not visible to the area that much and see how a sample works out for you. All right, so what do you do? Mix the degreaser with the water or just spray it no, on the way it'll it will be a spray on. So and let it sit there for a yeah, while, Mike? I would let it just emulsify oh, okay. itself a while. Emulsify. That's Very a good nice. word, yeah. It Emulsion. Actually, that'll, that'll, that'll eliminate some of the rubbing, actually, and it'll make it much easier for you, too, at that point. Oh, thanks a lot. And when you're ready for a new kitchen, don't forget to call me, 914- Oh, yes, I got your number, 914 I got it on paper. 525 Great. Yes, I will. 
All right, so thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks. Now, can we interest you in any of our great free prizes while we have you? Wine tasting for two, a screwdriver set, a Philips alarm clock with the iPhone charger on top with the adapter, a digital watch, what, and anything for the holidays, maybe give them away as a gift? That would be a good idea. All right, how about the... Um Maybe the, uh, the watch. The digital watch. Okay, the digital watch is going out here. Uh, stay on the line. Carrie is going to take your information. You can pick it up here at the station. She'll tell you what times, okay? And thanks okay. for the call. Thank you. Happy okay. holidays. Listen, we got some great guests that just strolled in here. Uh, they're doing some projects outside here. We have the supervisor from the town of Ramapo, Christopher St. Lawrence, and his guest. Uh, who's your guest, Chris? Uh, Tim Teal. Hey, uh, Tim. Tim, Tim uh, is the person that put the hockey rink in for the NHL at uh, Fenway and out of Pittsburgh, I believe. And I got to get his autograph if he's that good. I'm wow, nice. He's the first one at Ralph Wilson Stadium. We, we were lucky enough to develop the first NHL Classic and work with the NHL on further and, development. And so. what's the name of your company? Where are you from? My company is Spec Technologies Incorporated. We're from just outside of Buffalo, which is one of the reasons we were chosen for that classic. The other reason is we developed the ranks in Bryant Park in Midtown oh, Manhattan. Nice. Yeah, we were talking maybe a little winter garden over here we could have, like would, Bryant Park. Wouldn't that be something? You know what? what a great stadium. Yeah. I'm very lucky to be here, and you're doing a great job. This is going to grow exponentially throughout the years. It's a fantastic view all the way around. You have great seating, great facilities. Absolutely. It's awesome. Looking so. forward to the first hockey game here. What, Tuesday? Tuesday. You and they're, we're getting ready to make ice today, and we have the warming tent in there now. I and saw it. Oh, that, that looks great. And, uh, we may have to have the ABCs of Home Improvement come over and give us a little advice on some things. <laughs> and, you know, we're sounds doing a carpentry like, over there, but that, that's good. always dangerous, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. But Tim, Tim has been uh, overseeing this project, and it's just incredible uh, to be able to have it uh, become a festival for, for the community. There's so many things to think about. Yeah, I know you have a concert series, but even a New Year's Eve concert on the ice, you can mat the ice. Outstanding. And great you idea. can do your your opportunities are endless here. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. Unbelievable. Absolutely fantastic. I love your show, by the way. Thank I you, Supervisor. To it after my show, I give you a little plugs on my yes, show. Yes, you do. Yeah, and, thank you. Thank you. It's you, great. You really do a great job. Thank you. And <laughs> it's great for people to get this information and to get it uh, from people that are professionals and experts. And uh, it's good stuff. It's great stuff. I, I have a, an ABCs of Home Improvement myself question. Can I ask uh, you Absolutely. Now? Absolutely. Put us on the spot here. Let's see if we can answer. Go you ahead. You know, uh, I had an addition in my house in the living room area, big, big living room area and uh there's a crawl space underneath about three four foot crawl space and on the outside around the house there are these vents should i be covering those vents up in the winter time to not or should i leave them there for airflow but they they bring in cold weather underneath my uh should i close those up with uh, anything even a little they plastic? do yeah they have some baffles that you can use which will slow down the air that's moving through there for the winter time some of them also are adjustable they, depending on what you have there louvers. they have louvers on them. yeah this so is the old edition from right. the 50s so it's just straight it doesn't yep. have the ability to close it up just but i could put at something in front of that, even a little. Uh, yeah, a little. Uh, line yeah, something, something that's a louver that will allow the air infiltration to slow down during the winter time, but you still get you it. You might be able to replace the existing ones with new ones because they're pretty much standard sizes. Oh, also. okay. So that probably that's be the correct. Way to go. Do that before you start. Do I do it. wood or do I do metal? I would stick with metal. Stick metal with or metal. or a PVC, a yeah, plastic uh, composite yeah. is probably the right. best and maintenance-free. The metal actually. Uh, the stainless, the steel ones that they have are, are still corroding around the edges when you install those. So the you know Tim's company. Not only do they do this, they do many different things, and and they work with Live Nation and uh, concerts. But he's just built doing something down in Nashville, uh, Tennessee, right? Uh, yes, we're also lucky enough to work with uh, Bonnaroo, which is mm -hmm. a partnership of all the national promoters. So it's Live Nation, Superfly, um, Red Light Management. Nice. And we're doing drastic improvements to Bonnaroo. So I'm sure there are some Bonnaroo goers in your viewing area. Mm -hmm. So that's, it's going to be much better after this year, and every year they're going to be doing more improvements. Now, is Superfly run by Curtis Mayfield? I'm not sure who's <laughs> all the way up, but uh, I've not met Curtis. But, uh, He's on first name basis. Though. That's all. Very nice. Very nice. Well, thanks for letting us come on to your show. Outstanding, and everything's looking great out there. We saw the tree going up. They Matter got fact, the Jim O'Sullivan's crews out that's there. That's Jimmy. They, yeah. uh, uh, Tim found the tree for us up in Kinelon, wasn't it? Uh, it was um, Blairstown, actually. Oh, wow. Yep. We're gonna have to do a little more PR on the tree here in Ramapo. You know, the taking down and the moving and the setting up. Because uh, I was unaware of the tree till I drove in here today. Actually, listening to the show. I, that's what first made me aware of it. This is the first tree we're doing here. Yeah. Yep. 
Yeah, okay. it's great, so isn't it? It's, yeah, and it's they're good. Putting, they're putting the uh, lights on right now. I like seeing the ring going up, too. That's pretty yeah, exciting. Also. It really yeah. is. It, it extends the use of the stadium sure. yep. and gives, I think, a great opportunity for our residents to have a lot of fun. I, uh, I'm looking forward to like a Monroe Suffern hockey game there. You think we might be able to get one I of those? I think that would that's be a, a great, great match. Pack the stadium. Right, right. They're also going to have a league, you know, for for uh, men to go out and get there oh, and play hockey. Good. So get, get your team ready. Dr. Haggerty. We're going to get Dr. Haggerty out there and slam some heads into the boards. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> very cool. All right. Thank Excellent. you very much. All right, listen, Thank enjoy. You. Everybody have Thank a great week. Show. Thank you. Thank you very much. Great to have you on. Uh, we're going to go out on a quick break again. When we come back, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the, the zoning and the, uh, the emails that we got in. Thank you. Welcome back, folks. Welcome to the ABCs of Home Improvement. Uh, we're back again, and uh, we have a, someone online. Okay. Welcome to the ABCs of Home Improvement. How may we help you? Uh, Paul from Merrimont. Hey, Paul. How are you today? How was your Thanksgiving? Good. Excellent. Did you use our screwdriver set to take apart the turkey? I didn't get the screwdriver set. I'm going to win it today. Oh, nice. That's what you're looking for today. Okay, so wh what do you say to get the ABCs of Home Improvement official screwdriver set? I love the, the ABCs. <laughs> oh, all right. Paul, outstanding. All right, so we just, that's like our ninth or tenth one. We only have a few more left. There are serial numbers on it. Uh, Billy's not here to sign it, but Mike and I will autograph it for you, and we'll have Joe throw his autograph on there. And uh, stay on the line, and Kerry will uh, will get your information. Now, anything else we can help you with, Paul? Any, any questions? Uh, any questions? Any Paul Fromney? What's that, Paul? Sorry, we couldn't hear you. Anthony Polifroni. Anthony Polifroni. Now, who's that? He was an architect. Oh, no, I didn't know that. So Where, where is he where, located? Yeah, where is he located? He, he, well, he does physical therapy now. Oh, oh, okay. Excellent, excellent. Well, that's great. Well, thanks, Paul. Uh, pleasure having you on here. And let us know what you work on with the screwdriver set, and uh, maybe next week you can win something else. All right. All right, have a great day. Thanks oh, for the call. Thank you, Pete. All right, excellent. Listen, for you folks out there that are looking to do a home improvement project, we have our book that we've been putting together. Joe is putting the finishing touches on that, and we should have it ready for the beginning of the year. Uh, it's a 60-page reference uh, guide for how to run a successful home improvement project by, of course, your friendly neighborhood architect, Laborio Dorario. I know him. Um, and we have a short uh, reference uh, form that we have on our website at the ABC's of Home Improvement, and it's also at my site at arcafuture.com. Uh, it's uh, why you should hire an architect for your project uh, to supervise and oversee the entire construction. Uh, it's free of charge. It's a PDF. You can download it at our sites, and, and uh, it gives you a little bit of a brief information on how to do a home improvement project and what the architect's role is. Um, and we always like to say, again, Mike, like a medical specialist, the architect has the talents and expertise to navigate the most treacherous of building waters and bring your project safely and smoothly to port. Mike. I can How's see the that? sail out. How's right that now. metaphor? Was that a good metaphor? Very good. Very All good. right. Now, listen, we have our motivational quote of the week, Mike. We always and like to do that. So take down the one from last week off your refrigerator. I'm holding and up here the it magnets is. now. Success is a direct reflection of the efforts, pride, and passion with which a person lives. And that's David Bell. Very cool. Okay, one of my professors up at RPI. You know, that's, uh, in this business, when quotes. we started years ago, Lee, everything was done by a handshake. I'm telling you. That's so. Still should be done that way. We, if it was, the world would still be a better place, Mike. I know, okay, but the it's, is uh, it there's a big stay. moral thing. We're not even going to get into that, what's going on around All here. Right. We're going to keep it on a much more jovial note, Mike. With the holidays now. Uh, and, of course, we add our quote from a famous architects on architecture because uh, the folks always wanted to know a little bit more about what the architects are saying. And this one is here is God created pay for the purpose of drawing architecture on it. Everything else, at least for me, is an abuse of paper. And that's Ooh. Alvar Aalto, uh, one of the famous uh, architects of, of the early uh, 20th century. So, uh, Do you know that you really can't start a project without architectural blueprints? Because no one knows what you're bidding on without having paper in front of you. That's correct. That's correct, Mike. And, uh, you know, Billy's out there, so we, should we read Mantra for number one from Bill? We're going to leave that till he comes back from John Rushkin. Uh, if you're out there, Bill, and you want to call in, you've got it memorized, well, <laughs> let's see. We're going to put you to the test on that one. Uh, we had our new segment going for the last uh, month and a half, two months, called uh, Pick of the Week, your project posts. And we had another one this week. That was from uh, Jim Jimmy Poley from Mohegan Lake. He's our winner. Uh, he's uh, showed us a little project that he was doing on Facebook. 
And uh, for that, he's going to be getting a surprise gift, Mike. We're going to be giving him away uh, the Slinky, Mike. He gets He'll the Slinky. It. He'll love it. <laughs> He'll probably gift it out That's to one of the it. kids. So right out of the magic hat, we're getting. So for you photogs out there, keep the pictures coming. Very good. Uh, we're still waiting for Edmund to come and pick up his uh, screwdriver set. He's here in New York from Florida, and maybe he's going to stop by the station to get that. Um, we have our green tip of the week, Mike, which we haven't gotten into uh, lately. And people, what does the green tip uh, mean? What does green building mean? And it's designing or constructing in a technique that saves energy, water, improves health, air quality, and includes products that are beneficial for the environment and reduce waste, Mike. It means use it a second time. So that's, that's right. Use it a second time. Or our tip of the week this week is to remove, while you're cleaning out your closets, uh, remove the hazardous waste products around your house. So collect all the unwanted hazardous waste products around your garage your laundry room anything in your household including lead batteries toxic solvents Paint. paints fluorescent light bulbs yep. mercury thermometers flashlights shoes <laughs> Shoes. And take them yeah. to the Household Hazardous Waste Collection over here and uh, right down the road here in Pomona, Pomona. Yep. right? And uh, get rid of that stuff properly, and that will also help us uh, keep America one step ahead and a little bit greener nation, Mike. Amen. So, uh, so that's what we have. Now, we want the, uh, from our uh, email bag, the ABC's a home improvement, we had a couple of questions, Mike. And one of them was a, a, a gentleman who asked... Um, he wants to reside and re-roof his house. And he wants to know what his options are. He thinks he has asbestos siding existing on his house. Mike. I wouldn't be shocked. So, what do you think? The uh, what should we suggest for this uh, this guy here? Do you like to maintain it and just cover it, or do you like to remove it? Which so, way you go? Okay. So now, the, depending on the profile, Mike. Right. So, uh, if you're siding, if you're listening out there, uh, if you're siding, I guess has a more than a, a quarter of an inch profile bevel on it it sort of makes it a little cumbersome to go over it do, you, do they understand what that means yeah so, so have a flat board uh you have protrusions more than a quarter inch you're saying yeah 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 and that would make it'll it'll, it'll profile out which means it'll start indent, indentating the vinyl or whatever else you use correct even if you put some of this accordion board this uh a lot of times the siders will come in and they'll go right over your siding, and they use this uh, like quarter inch or or half inch accordion uh, styrofoam board for insulation because the older houses sometimes didn't have a good insulation and in, the, newspapers in, in the, wall. the walls, right? Yeah. So now when you do this, your windows are now suddenly recessed. So now you have to build strange. up yeah. around the windows. So now you have to take some boards and nail around the windows so it can meet the siding. So there's th that's a more expensive proposition. So sometimes removing the siding down to the plywood to a, f a flush and level surface, which also now allows you to build back up without having to interfere with any of the windows. About the same distance. Right. What do you do with the asbestos? How do you remove it safely and uh, environmentally friendly at okay. the same time? So, so that siding, Mike, that they, they have, the asbestos siding, the asbestos is encapsulated yeah. in the siding. So as long as you're not sawing it or cutting it, you know, if it's breaking, and you know, it's sort of like a, a, um, a fragile material. It yes. snaps. Yes. Like a piece of glass, it'll snap. But Even it, easier. It, it will not. It, there, there's no loose particles that are coming out of that. Okay. So if you're cutting it with a saw, like when you're installing it and you have to cut some of these pieces, that dust now is the part that's really bad for you. So uh, since it's all encapsulated, you are allowed as a homeowner to string it, you know, ba ba bundle it up with some string, put it out on the road, and they without will take it. Without bagging it. They'll see that it's there. Um, and do you have to call ahead for that type of thing? Some, t some municipalities you do. I would so you have so, to yeah. check. And it's also, uh, you know, some municipalities, uh, or most now, I believe, if you're siding your house, you need to get a permit. Roofing and siding, you wow. need permits. Did not know that. So, uh, you know, any of you inspectors out there listening to the show, I believe that is correct. Uh, my time. If not, give us a call at 845-362-0013. Yeah. Right. Let us know about that. So that that's the answer for that. And the options and, and what it should cost. Uh, depend on the siding that you pick, the roofing material you pick. And the pitch of the roof. Uh, the pitch of the roof and the size of the project. Yes, that makes a big so, difference. So uh, if you want to have us come out and take a look, again, give us a call or check out our website. Uh, give us your information by email again, and uh, we'll come out and set up a time. Now, we also had somebody, we were talking about that addition with the mother-daughter. Yes. Um, and so their email also, the, I got that one by email, uh, They there's a zoning issue. So people want to know why... 
It's my house. I want to build something. Why I can't just build it by right? What is zoning right. actually right. causing and doing? So the zoning issues on that one are the fact that it's really considered a multiple unit at that point, even though they're related families. Mm -hmm. And you need to go get a special permit or, or variance or, or use variance uh, in that zone if it's allowed for that. Now, basically, if you have elderly uh, parents or in-laws that are going to move into this condition, they, they are very um, friendly towards that as long as you show that they, these are family members. Mm -hmm. Now, when the family members pass away and you have that unit there, you you, you're it. really not allowed to rent it. So, uh, you know, you have to then convert it back, take the kitchen out. But if you go to sell it and the new family coming in has the same condition, they can go in and reinstate that uh, use variance for the family for the mother daughter so so if you do that you don't lose value in your house however you have to find a special person that's in the same specific conditions that you were to be able to buy I would that. think more and more people would consider that option also considering the cost factor putting mom and dad somewhere else where they're uncomfortable and this way you can keep an eye on them at the same time absolutely and uh, so those are those are a couple of the uh, mailbag uh, questions that we had good and questions this week. yeah those are good ones and, and you know and exact this one that I'm doing has the exact condition mm -hmm. so uh, it actually came from the clients that I'm working with uh, that are trying to do that one what in town are they in? that's in Orange town oh cool so um, you know and there I've done two or three down there in the last six months um, it seems like this is the growing trend. Uh, parents are, are becoming a little more fragile uh, as folks get older, and they, the assisted living is sort of not, they're not ready for that. They'd rather be with the family members. They're still active. They're still mobile. And they still have their own privacy. And they have their own space, exactly. Right. Big deal. Um, and there's a way around that. If you can't get the variance or you don't want to go through with that, you just don't put a kitchen into the apartment. You can do a cooktop. That's right. all you can do. You right. eliminate the oven. That's the right. trick. So, and, and that can get... Uh, that can get done in that fashion, but a lot of times I advise my clients to go through the process and get it done the right way. Um, you never know who's looking, right, That's, Mike? The reason is because you have neighbors. <laughs> if you lived in the woods, nobody would care. But the reason you have zoning is because of neighbors and because of making sure they do the right thing. That's I, the whole thing. I love my neighbors, Mike. I know I you have do. the best You're very neighbors close. in the world. So, uh, yeah, we, we share all our holidays together. You're lovely. <laughs> One way or another. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. So that's it. So uh, that's what we have for you today at the ABC's of Home Improvement. If anyone wants to call in for the wine tasting, 845-362-0013. Joe, why don't you come in front of the camera here? We have a few minutes left. Why don't you tell folks a little bit about what you do uh, here for the ABC's of Home Improvement. He's amazing. Just and what you, know. you do in your career as a, a developer of websites and marketing and campaigning. And give a phone number. And give a phone number. So the folks out there who are enjoying all our stuff out there in social media, if they want to do something similar... Uh, you know, we're, they're not going to steal you away from me, but they can actually add on to your uh, schedule. Your current, right, your current employment schedule. So uh, go ahead, Joe. Joe Escanio. Right, good morning, everybody. Putting me on the spot a little bit, a, a little bit unexpected this time. But, um, yeah, well, um, I've been a graphic designer for a couple of years now, about four or five years. And uh, my, my main area is between designing websites and logos and uh, web graphics for, like, Facebook, social media and everything. And I'm kind of ramping up my... my uh, firm i guess you can call it right now we're hiring a new designer hopefully we're in the talks negotiating rates and everything and we're gonna have a little bit more freelance going on but um basically that's what we do we 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 uh create art for anything that you really need if you want to design a logo for your business or if you want to design something for holiday cards you know gift cards weddings invitations photography basically the full gambit anything you need from the the practice of design, we got you covered. What about the poker chips, Joe, for those the guys, poker the, poker, chips. the poker players so out that's, there? That's the new thing. So I just uh, kind of signed on with these guys, uh, custommadecasino.com, and they uh, design custom poker sets, either hot stamped directly onto the chip or a full color direct print, which is pretty cool. It's a different thing. I'd never really seen it before, but these guys are making a little bit of money, and they're sending out a lot of orders. They had me working hard this week on Wednesday. They had a big shipment come in. Had to unload this freight liner, huge freight liner. We were there for like <laughs> Full four of hours. Full chips. <laughs> yeah, I got a couple of guys to help out. It was nuts. Wow. But yeah, it's it's good stuff. So it's it's a good gift for the holidays. I definitely recommend it to all your poker players out there to check them out. CustomMadeCasino.com, and I'm doing all the art for them. So their their art department is pretty strong it's now. Banging away. So yeah. what about some of the information? How to uh, besides our website? If you go to the ABC's of Home Improvement, Joel's uh, information's there. You click on his link, you can get right out to his website. But uh, how about a phone number? 
number and how to people. You can definitely reach out to me. My personal line is uh, 917-657-3626, and I'm available 24 hours a day. You can call me anytime. If you call me at 3 a.m., I will give you a discount for 30%, nice. but the work is going to be a little <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> Too early. I like that. I like that. Well, Joe's been doing a great job here for the ABCs. Uh, he's brought us so many followers and listeners. Uh, it's really been great. I love his artwork. His, I really the, do. The stuff that he produces. And he's working on finishing up our book uh, here as well. So uh, if you have something in, of that nature you're looking to create, uh, he's, a, he's a great guy for that. And uh, he, he actually does goes 110% past where he should be going for most of these things. Definitely does a great job, and Joe, we just want to thank you. It is Thanksgiving, so we, you know, we, we got past there, but we're thankful to have you with us on staff. I appreciate, uh, it. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate Lee. Lee's been kind of taking me under his wing for the last couple of years, teaching me about this stuff, ramping up my design, giving me ideas that I hadn't really thought of, and throwing me into architectural practice a little bit, a little yeah. bit of drafting, a little bit of designing. Yeah. So I'm, you know, filling my uh, bag of tricks right. here and, with and Lee. some real estate, a little yeah, bit of absolutely. real estate. So, so we're we're moving on that, and slowly we. Hope to ramp that up a little bit more, make a little make a little money this year coming yeah. up. You know, we'll bring you some more valuable information, and we have some surprises for you guys next year as far as the ABCs of home improvement. We're gonna have a little bit of a different format, possibly. Yep. And we have some some things in the works. So just keep you know tuned into our Facebook, be on our site. A lot of stuff happening, a lot of good professionals on there for you for your home improvement needs, and uh, you know we got you covered. Way to go, Joe. Good stuff. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. All right, listen, folks. Uh, that's it from the ABCs of home improvement. Again, we want to just throw out a shout to the Torn Valley Vineyards. Get up there today. Look out your window. There's no reason to be inside. Go out and listen to some great music. Have some great wine, great food. Meet the guys up there. Tell them you heard about it on the ABC's of Home Improvement, and maybe they'll give you a free glass of port wine. If, John, if you're listening, get the bottles of port ready. We, you're going to have an army of people that listen to the ABC's up there today looking for some port wine. So uh, have a great week. Enjoy the week, you folks. Uh, go Giants. We want to make sure that all you Jet fans out there know that we're true blue here at the ABC's of Home Improvement. Uh, and you, after the game, you can call in next week and let me know if I was right or wrong. Okay. Twenty-seven, fourteen. <laughs> Mikey's got the call here. All right, that's it. Everybody have a great week. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs>